After a startling accusation from a renowned British tabloid surfaced, Britney Spears' ex-husband retaliated, Kevin Federline denied saying Britney was using meth, and claimed the documentary director made up his statements, the infamous British magazine that published the allegations is now making more claims, and Kevin is responding through his lawyer, claiming that people are lying outright to portray his ex as an addict and him as a snitch, Kevin Federline reportedly voiced concern that Britney Spears was using crystal meth, which was first reported by Mail on Sunday, journalist Daphne Barak, who collaborated with Kevin for months on a documentary, provided the source for the information. Despite the fact that he has publicly denied making the statement, Daphne Barak is adamant that he did, an official from Mail on Sunday spoke to TMZ about the matter and was forthright in his remarks, Daphne Barak has assured us that the quotes attributed to Kevin and the family are accurate, the newspaper stated and fairly reflect the interviews that were conducted, the spokesman insisted. These were supposedly interviews in which Kevin spoke to Daphne, Britney's producer Erbil Ganasti, and members of the film crew about his concerns that Britney might be using crystal meth, according to the representative, he did so clearly and repeatedly, there is still more, according to the spokesperson for Mail on Sunday. This was done because that would be the way to get help for Britney, Kevin's lawyer, Mark Vincent Kaplan, also talked to TMZ regarding the allegations made by the British publication, Mail on Sunday knows nothing more than what they were told by Daphne, he admitted, according to Kaplan, accurate reporting could suggest that they accurately recorded what Daphne told them. But that does not indicate that what Daphne told them was true. Kevin Federline previously told TMZ straight out, it saddens our family that Daphne Barak and Erbil Ganasti have decided to fabricate lies and publish the heartache our family has endured, he stated at the time, along with the anguish of our little children, Kevin continued. All of that is pretty hazy, we make no claims to being privy to anything Kevin said or withheld from saying to documentary makers or a renowned British tabloid, however, it does seem odd that Britney would opt to start using meth in 2022 after spending years being medicated against her choice and finding sipping coffee to be a novelty.